Hello everyone. Um before I start this video, um like, share, subscribe to the channel and smash the bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Y'all, I just wanted to real quick um tell you um do not close your mind to knowledge, y'all. Um, Nature Boy always says, and I know a lot of you guys don't, you know, Nature Boy isn't your flavor, but the minute you start closing your mind off to knowledge, that's when you become a fool. Because my, like, my grandmother, her name was Squeeze, Ella Squeeze. Her name was Eloise, but we called her Squeeze or Ella Squeeze, right? God rest her soul. She used to say, um... Every day that you go by and you don't learn something, that was a date wasted. So what does that mean? That means you have to open your mind up to new things that you have not, that you don't know, right? The minute you close your mind, I think you become a fool, right? And if some, being smart doesn't always mean that you know where to go for knowledge, being smart can also come down to when something clicks that makes sense, you know, resonating with stuff that makes sense, right? And you might say, well, what makes sense to you might not make sense to me. Okay, and that's true, but come on, y'all, man. Most of us know the English language that's listening to this. So, okay, I've said all of that to say this because y'all know I always go around Robin Hood's barn to get to my point, right? So, I wanted to say what I wanted to say. When you go ahead and you personify Christ, making him black or white, you miss sight on the concept of higher consciousness right you lose sight on everything else because you so focused on no jesus was black jesus was white the bible says don't make no graven images now think anything engraved is it could is sketched anything that you etch or write etching writing back then they had cuneiform or what they call where you had to sketch stuff. Remember? They didn't have paper or papyrus at the beginning. They had, you had to sketch, you know? Graven images. Engraving images, y'all. So, that's what the Bible says. Don't make no, don't um worship no engraving, no graven images. Right? So, I say that to say this. If, if something is engraved or wrote or sketched or hung up, that means you can see what it is, right? I, what I'm saying is to say, don't personify Christ and say he was black or white. You lose everything when you do that. You close your mind to a whole wealth of knowledge, knowledge when you do that because you be so focused on one thing, right? Uh-uh, he was black. Uh-uh, he was white. Y'all, they getting y'all. They getting y'all. Y'all falling for the, the conscious community jazz. Don't do it. Umar, you know I love you, Umar. You know if I wasn't with Tay, Umar, you know. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Anyway, let me stop flirting. <laughs> anyway, I ain't flirting. Um, but I'm just going to say, do not... Close your mind off to um, that particular concept. All right. Christ was a consciousness. The Christ consciousness. It was a set of ideas. It was a paradigm. A set of beliefs. A belief system. And love your neighbor before yourself. And you have done the whole of the law. Remember that? Y'all, I tell y'all. Y'all be scamming me sometimes. Not y'all, all of y'all. But some of the um, 
conscious community and some of the Christian churches. Be mean as junkyard dogs, mean as snakes. You know what I'm saying? We got to get nice to one another, y'all. I was just, um, you know, um, outside, right? And I was talking to a, a girlfriend of mine or whatever, right? And so, um, somebody had rolled by and just was giving us just, just the meanest look. And I'm like, do we, do we know that person or something? Like, is, am I missing something? Why does everybody look so mean all the time? That ain't, ain't my business. My business as long as I'm looking Hey, Hope. I love you, Hope. Um, everybody, um, I'm feeling better. Um, yeah. But that's all I wanted to say for today. I ain't gonna say too much. Y'all see, you know, I went and got some stuff, washed my hair and stuff. Gonna have a little lunch with a friend. And I'll be done. And so, she, she's, um, Really sweet. Anyway, shout out to her. But just be nice to one another and don't shut your mind off to knowledge. Don't shut your mind off. I find the nicest people are the people that don't, you know, why does religion mean mean as a, a junkyard dog? Like, oh my goodness, just mean. For no reason at all, you know. And that be people that's following conscious communities and people that's following, um, I, let me say so-called conscious communities. They be on some stuff, y'all. Oh, mm, y'all, I was doing some research. I pulled up some good stuff, y'all. Come to find out, every time I'm digging and digging, I find out something deeper. The rabbit hole is a, oh my goodness, y'all. Almost gave me a headache. Listen. Y'all know that movie, um, what is it? Angel Heart with Denise, uh, what's her name? When the girl was looking, I mean, when the, um, detective was looking for, um, he hired, this guy hired the detective to look for, um, Harry Angel or something. Come to find out he was looking for his damn self. Y'all, it seemed like every time I'm going to look for, I think these movies be telling us stuff, y'all, because it's like every time I dig, I find out something that it kind of be like, oh, my Lord, what in the hell? I'm looking for me, y'all. Looking for me all and everything I do and every everything I research is just like it feel like it's me I'm looking for. I'ma show y'all. It's this little girl I'm looking for. You know, that picture's broken. But that's who I'm looking for. That's who that's what I feel like, y'all. I feel like that's who I'm looking for. You know. I'm trying to find God all my life, right? Come to find out so many things is going on. And, you know, so many hints is going on because, you know, the God in me, um, Christ said it in um, John, the book of John. I told you, you were God's children of the most high. You know, it's so many things that is leading me and I think what does God do when he finds himself that's the scary part right because oh now the next time I come back on here I'm getting ready to tell y'all y'all do not want to miss this I'm going to tell y'all I don't have time right now I'm sorry but I'm going to tell y'all about the time when I was I had um I had something um, I had to smoke some weed and it had a bad effect on me because I was just kept smoking, kept smoking, kept smoking, right? And it had a bad effect on me. Uh, I was, look, I was a entity that knew, that used to, that, that dreamed that they was human. So I had that experience, but it wasn't a good experience. It was God finding 
themselves, but the, the most lonely stuff ever, the most heart-wrenching, the most... Oh my goodness. And and I've had a couple of these experiences. I've had um um experiences being in a literal hell, y'all. I'ma tell y'all my hell story. I have a hell story, y'all. And I've told a, a couple people about this, about how, you know, I literally felt like I was in hell. I mean, I felt like that eat what um uh, Y'all, I've had so many hell experiences. I've had hell experiences in dream realm, but where I knew I was there. And I've had hell, I've had one time, it was for like 30 days straight, y'all. This was like two years ago. 30 days straight, I had hell experience. I was in hell for 30 days straight. This was in a rehab, y'all. And this rehab was in a spot where the sun was doing some crazy stuff. And y'all, this place was a literal hell, but it was, it, it kind of saved my life though. But it was, I'm going to tell y'all about that experience and I'm going to tell y'all everything that happened. On this particular, I'm going to give y'all one little tidbit. On this particular um, unit, in this particular place, there was seven twins on on board at each given time like every time you know how when you in rehab like you be in there for 30 days and then somebody else come in there for 30 days and then somebody else come in there to, you know everybody do that 30 days and people coming in different times well at each given time there was at least six sets of twins on deck not sets but it was six twins you know like and and all of us twins would sit at the table and we would we would call it the twin table. I hope one of the um people I'm a I'm a I'm a find somebody I was in rehab with is so we can tell y'all exactly the experience, y'all. Y'all gotta hear about this experience. I love y'all. I gotta go. Um I will talk to y'all later. Um I love y'all. Mm. Um y'all have an amazing rest of your day. Will you do me that favor? Mm.